I forced myself to learn Blender in 100 hours. You know, that software that lets you 3D model stuff. Anyway, my goal was to create a sort of space cantina, except it's a it's for chess. So, a chess tina, if you will. You may be asking yourself, what would drive a normally sane human to force themselves to learn Blender? And you see, I dream of performing in front of millions and becoming the best live streamer in the world. Yeah, I don't know, I just wanted my live streams to be cool. So this is the painful 100 hour Blender story, condensed into 5-ish minutes. I opened the software and was instantly overwhelmed by all the buttons and tabs. I couldn't even figure out how to move around the default starting cube. Arrow keys didn't work, clicking and dragging didn't work. Turns out, it's the freaking middle mouse button and the shift key. So intuitive. I learned how to add some basic shapes and stretch them. I found a free human model and imported that in. This way I had something to base my scale off of. And I started making a little space bunker scene. This is about as far as I got in six hours. I then started down a rabbit hole of learning about loop cuts and how to mirror in objects so that it's the exact same on both sides. No longer was I going to stretch a basic cube. I wanted to make new shapes and things instantly became more difficult. I decided to focus on creating a small object for the scene. This way I could practice my modeling skills. I settled on creating a little sci-fi computer for the table. This leads me to realize that my imagination was very limited in what sci-fi computers looked like. I ended up just creating a lopsided box with some cords coming out of it. Even if I knew exactly what computer I wanted, getting my hands to create that in Blender was impossible. Already several days into this project, I decided that I needed to spend some time compiling a bunch of reference images. I started working on the centerpiece of the scene, the space bar. Get it? It's like a bar in space, but it's also on your keyboard. Never mind. I quickly realized that dealing with a sphere or a cube is one thing, but once you make an irregular shape, everything changes. The tools that I had just learned this last week were no longer working as expected. The more complicated the shape, the more useless I felt in my abilities. I ended up deleting and remaking the bar three or four times until I got to the point that I was happy with. I quickly discovered that cylinders were my friend. They were symmetrical and easy for me to manipulate. I learned how to make an array. This gave me the ability to copy the fountain spout and have it circle around the fountain several times. Learning about arrays really helped me save time. So after about a week or so, I started feeling like I had a handle on how to move around the scene. I felt comfortable making a bit more detailed shapes. I took a look at lighting the scene and quickly backed out as I was not ready to tackle a whole new system. It was about this time where I spent hours and hours watching YouTube videos and tutorials. The more I watched, the more I started to realize that the majority of what I had modeled so far was trash. My previous meshes were all messy and distorted. I knew I had to make just about every part of the scene again if I wanted a, a clean, even mesh. I was also double checking and tweaking my composition. I didn't want to spend all this time adding detail to an area of the scene that was not even going to be in the final render. After about 45 hours of practice, I was ready to take another swing at the computer on the table. This was one of my favorite days because I could really see the progress I had been making. The new computer looked incredibly better. I mean, just take a look at this. This is before, and this is after. I was going for a bit more of a scrappy sci-fi look, and I knew I wanted cables. Lots of cables. Cables everywhere. I downloaded this awesome Blender plugin called Cablerator. It saved me so much time, and since I only gave myself 100 hours for my first Blender project, time was of the essence. I started by adding cables to the computer, but quickly moved to add cables wherever I thought they looked good. We're about halfway through the project now, and this is where I learned all about booleans. I was able to add a lot of detail with booleans, and this is where things started to blow my mind. After days of watching videos about textures and nodes, I was finally ready to start painting. And the transformation was incredible. Everything finally started to look real. I had been looking at these blank objects for so long, and now they started to have texture and color, and the scene finally came to life. And after tweaking the composition a little bit, this is what we ended up with. I added some lights and created some cool space-looking drinks for the bar. 
The animations I wanted to do were simple, like a hologram rotating or a light shooting through a cable, but I quickly learned that this was an entire system I didn't have the slightest clue about. This is where I insert several days of trial and error and, and watching YouTube videos. And finally, we got to the place where I thought I was ready to render. I organized all my files into a separate folder and over half of my textures broke. All of that hard work down the drain. It turns out that Blender doesn't really like you moving files around. At this point, I was getting close to my 100 hour deadline. I had put so much work into the project and the textures, and I didn't want to just ditch it all. So I spent a whole day reading forums and watching YouTube videos, and after completely downloading all of my assets again, saving everything to one folder, and relinking them, I was finally able to fix it. I double checked all of my render settings and decided it was time to send my computer on a two day render journey where it would render 450 frames. And this is how my 15 second scene turned out. Are you freaking, oh, okay. I don't know why he blundered his queen. Guys, I lost. Why didn't I see this move? Look, he's forking my queen and my rook. Good game, man.